Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, we're gonna talk about one recurring feature. Okay, so recurring is our add-on that lets you recur your events based on your schedule. It can be daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis, and creates child events based on the parent events data. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna solely focus on recurring's one feature that is cloning tickets or like recurring tickets along with the event. Okay, so without talking, I'm gonna go and give you a demonstration so you understand better what we're talking about here. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna go to our uh, event dashboard. Okay, and over here, we're gonna uh, like, let's do it on the front end side. Okay, so let's load front end side and go to event dashboard and we're gonna modify this fall event. Okay, and click on this edit button. Over here, firstly, we will add a paid ticket. To our event so let's add a ticket let's give this a name fall ticket quantity let's say 100 ticket price let's 100 bucks as well start date let's say today time to 12 o'clock end date to let's say 18 okay and we're gonna update our uh, changes okay since we have created a ticket for the event so in the event details page we'll be able to see like the ticket information Okay. Since we added this ticket, we're going to go to WooCommerce product section and open it a new tab. And we'll be able to see the fall ticket is being listed over here as a product. Okay. And with 100 bucks of price and in stock quantity of 100. Right. So when we buy a ticket from here, the stock will go down by one, like depending on how many quantity we are buying, of course. All right. So I'm going to show you the recurring feature for this event and how it recurs or like clones the ticket along with the event as well. For that, make sure in the settings section of WP Event Manager under uh, the event recurring, you have duplicate tickets with event is turned on. Okay, so let's click here and save changes. Then we're gonna come to uh, all events. Okay, let's do it on the front end side as well. Okay, so let's go back to our event page. And here, we're gonna come down below right after the ticketing section. So we're gonna set our event recurrence to daily, repeat every one day, and repeat until our end date. So that's 24th, I believe. Let's check it once again, yeah. Uh, yes, 24th, right. So repeat until 24th, okay. Then we're gonna save our changes. And then we're gonna go back to our backend and go to recurring event section. And over here we'll see the event, the fall event is waiting to be uh, recurred, okay? So start date is 17th and uh, end date is 24th. So if we click this button over here, it will go ahead and create duplicate events or like recurring events for that parent event. So we can even click over here to view the events generated automatically in the WordPress environment, okay? So these are all the child event that uh, been created, that inherited our parent event data like this event and created the child event over here. But the amazing thing is, since we turned on uh, sell ticket or like ticket recording as well, if we go back to our product section and reload this page, we will see that in alongside with uh, the events being created, we have like uh, the tickets that been associated with the events are now being created over here as well. whenever a user buys any ticket from any respective event over here the stock for that event will only go down for that particular product here okay so like a little bit confusing let me uh, plain it down for you this all events over here have their independent ticket as a product okay so no like sharing with the parent event right so what happens if we set our ticket recording to disabled okay so let's save changes and we will take a demonstration as well but with a different event okay so let's go to events and we can take the uh, there's a lot of fall events of course okay yeah this republic event okay let's click here and over here we will add a paid ticket as well okay paid ticket ticket quantity let's say 100 ticket price 150 start date let's say uh today and time this end date let's say 26th no no not 20 end date let's say 24th and in time is 12 o'clock okay in setting section we will turn on description uh quantity and that's it 
and then we're gonna save our changes and then we're gonna come to our product section and reload our page we will be seeing the ticket is being listed over here okay right there it is and then we're gonna set this event for recurrence as well but for that i need to modify this events end date actually because it's a single day event what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set it to 31st and then set our event recurrence to daily repeat every one day repeat until to 31st right then save changes and if we come back to our recurring section we will see that uh, republic day event is waiting to get recurred as well so let's click this button and it will create the child events for us automatically and we can click this button to view this event as well okay right there but what do you think did happen when we recurred these events automatically this event still has an like a uh, ticket inside them there's no mistake in that but if I come to product section and reload this page, you will see the product didn't get recurred at all. Okay, so what that means, whenever a user buys a ticket from any of the Republic Day event, let it be child event, let it be parent event, will get deducted from the one single product over here. Okay, so basic difference is if you have recurring ticket turned on each event will have their own ticket product inside them and that will manage the inventory as well if you don't have the recurring ticket option turned on then all you have a master product for the ticket and all of the child events and the parent events will share the master product from here for the ticketing purchase okay so i know a bit technical and a bit confusing it can get but let us know in the comment if you are getting confused about anything we'll be sure to help you out in the comment section but this actually wraps it up for this video come join me in our next video where we will talk about something else something uh growth okay so until next time i'm Shara saying goodbye thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one